Hi Aries, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Aries Tarot Reading. Aries love tarot reading. Aries love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Aries love messages reading. Channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Their feelings for you, your feelings for them. What's on everybody's mind? Is anyone making a move? What's going on in the connection? Let's take a look at the energy that is coming in. Wow. It's the hermit and the moon. They both live in the third eye chakra. Somebody is really... Going within here, self-awareness, third eye chakra, I see. The hermit, Virgo and Mercury energy. You literally go here for clarity, truth, figuring things out. Look at this. Somebody's spending some time alone for sure. This is also a validation of the no contact, no communication and or in separation energy here. When you get out of the hermit, you go into the Wheel of Fortune and you spin the Wheel of Fortune. You take your chance. Cycles of life. Fate and destiny. So controlling what you can, spinning <laughs> that Wheel of Fortune and letting go of what you can't. This is somebody who wants to communicate, who wants to open up, who wants to talk. This is somebody who wants to talk. Coming here with the moon, Pisces energy. Also bringing in Cancer and Gemini who wants to open up and communicate in a new way? Revealing energy, it's the moon, the emotions, what's been hidden, what are they coming here to tell you? What truth are they getting? What clarity are they getting? What truth and clarity do you need to see? Because when that full moon, when that moon is full, it's illuminating everything. And this is a timeless reading. If you're here in real time as I upload, we're still kind of in the glow, aren't we, of the full moon coming out of it. It feels like a kind of a now energy. Okay, that was loud. <laughs> Let's see what is going on, Aries. This is a timeless reading. Aries, all your, your zodiac readings <laughs> are connected to... The playlists on the channel, the link, also down below in the description. And you'll find all 12 zodiac signs there. You will also find all signs tarot readings. These are collective love readings, love readings for the collective. If you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long in depth twin flame readings as well. So feel free to explore. Let's take a look at this energy coming in. Well, well, <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it's pretty strong, and this is a very strong validation that they want to communicate with you. So they're definitely going to be getting out of that hermit energy, getting out of the no contact energy, no communication, and or in separation. Is it possible to see each other? This is somebody definitely who wants to open up, who wants to communicate. What are they revealing? Feelings for you? It's the king of swords. Gemini and Mercury energy. So they've been thinking about this for a long time. Mercury is oftentimes connected to reading and writing. So we could be looking at an email, text message, some kind of social media. But it's also Mercury, you know. How do you normally communicate? Can you see this person? Do you talk on the phone? They're definitely taking this action. The magician is here. The magician is connected to the solar plexus chakra I do, as well as the throat chakra I speak. Communication. As above, so below. Turning their visions into reality. We know that this person has been going in, inner vision, in the hermit energy, and wanting to communicate, thinking about communicating. And it's really clear that they're getting out of there to, to do that. They're making this move. Somebody coming in with a clean slate energy, like they really want to move past everything. The energy of the magician to alchemize. So this healing energy to work things out that happened between you in the past that are still here in the current energy. 
and that don't need to get dragged into the future. Okay. There might be a particular moment, if you can see each other, that they're going to take to kind of see you or perhaps just even in getting this message to you, a phone call, that sort of thing. But it's definitely the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Manifesting you, making their wishes come true. Don't forget to like today's video, by the way, <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't, all of that. It's a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. Let's take a look at this energy. I kind of got a peek. The magician is back, and it's here with the Six of Pentacles, reciprocal. Yeah, they really want to communicate with you. I think they really want to be with you. Six of Pentacles a very reciprocal energy. And just look in our deck today, Aries. It's two people with a rose between them. Love and passion. This is a healing energy, restoring harmony energy. And it's coming here back with the magician. So it is a validation for me that this is something you've been waiting for. So here's the thing. Regardless of where the conversation or messages are going, it is somebody who does want to communicate we need to get more in terms of timing and possibilities. What exactly, what else is on their mind? But communication is super clear. Super, super clear for me. The magician coming in again. Okay. Let's get this last cut deck, Aries. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else Aries needs to see. Aho. The Knight of Pentacles is here. Yeah, look. It's the Seven of Pentacles, and it's in reverse. That's you tired of waiting. Waiting literally for reciprocal energy. It's coming here, look. In the Knight of Pentacles, somebody on the move here saying, I want to work this out. I know you've been waiting. So that, that energy is somebody who really wants to communicate. I feel, again, that there's another level to this. We'll get there in a moment. The Five of Cups is in reverse, Mars and Scorpio energy. They want to apologize and move past everything that happened. I, I really feel like this is somebody who wants to work things out. Look, our knight of, our knight of, our king of swords is back. I tell you, <laughs> it's, it's pretty clear. The communication, the end of no contact, no communication, and or in separation, this is what they're trying to do. They may have seen something, heard something, perhaps you even said something, or somebody else did, because there is a triggering energy. It's like, I need to, I need to move fast. This is a horse with humility, by the way, who, who is, there is some apologetic energy coming in here. They're wearing a floral laurel wreath, which is reunion energy for me. But it's a horse, it's moving, you know, it's moving through whatever issues, obstacles have kept this person from being someone that you can count on. They are apologizing here and want to move past it. That's the magician energy coming in twice. The alchemizing energy here. So clean slate energy. Hierophant. Yeah, this is a round commitment. Aries. Six of swords. The Hierophant, by the way. Look, the two of wands. This is what you've been waiting for. Connected here with the knight of pentacles. Aries, this is your energy. Mars and Aries energy. The action they're taking. The decision they're making. And the completion that that is in this energy. Look, you've been watching and waiting. The, I mean, it's a really strong validation with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And the completion in this energy is most definitely communicating. The end of no communication. You've also been waiting for this apology. So this is more than an apology, but that's also coming in. The Hierophant is where their energy is the strongest. It's here in this area. <laughs> They're everywhere. And the Hierophant is here today, I should say. Divine Masculine Energy, Taurus Energy. It is a card of commitments, partnerships, relationships, contracts, long-term energy, wanting to work things out. 
The Hierophant is connected to the throat chakra I speak. Communication. Oh, the devil is here. Yeah. Okay. It's right here with look with the apology. And it's catty corner with the ace of pentacles in reverse. So they're definitely worried. There is a triggering energy here. Something they may have seen or heard. But also look what happened. Why they're apologizing. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. That's next level energy. So talking again, talking more, going exclusive. What is that next level that happened here that they're apologizing for? Was there something else going on? Because somebody made a not a great decision around it, obviously, and they want to apologize. I mean, you've been waiting here, and here, here they are coming in. And the devil is here with it, with the apology and with some of the mistakes, you could say, in the Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, and Saturn energy. So, of course, there could be some things going on here that were around vices, money. What is it? I feel like you already know. And let's see what else is coming through. It is also connecting here with the higher font. So it's, and there's, this is kind of like, some issues that I feel that are going on between the two of you. So it's definitely, that's not yours. It's definitely playing a part in that. The devil energy could even be around other people. You could even say other contracts and commitments to things that are maybe not so good for their highest good, including money issues. Whatever this is, they want to communicate. They want to apologize. You've been waiting for it, yet look what's interesting. It's the Six of Swords in the upright Mercury and Aquarius energy. It really is an energy of, like, it's time to communicate here. But just in the deck that I chose today, look, there is this, almost you could see somebody that might go, like, <laughs> push somebody off here. So there's what happened, because you have one foot out the door, maybe two feet out the door around this person. But it really, the communication energy has been coming in really strong from the beginning of your reading. There's a lot of energy coming in, Aries. The Six of Cups. Yeah. Sun and Scorpio energy. It's definitely somebody who's been, who has you on their mind here. It's a really nostalgic energy. It can be that you've known this person for many years. Can also just feel that way. There's a soul connection energy here. But this person from the past, how far back does it go for some of you really far back? Maybe not so far back for everybody, but they're in their head. There is a reunion energy here and kind of like a... Yeah, and it, well, definitely in some kind of an offer. It's not always the case that things are, reunions are happening with the Six of Cups, but it's really clear that this is somebody who is, yeah, I, I feel they're missing you. They're wanting to apologize and they really want to communicate. This has been clear from the beginning of your reading. Ace of Cups in reverse. The Hermit is back. Look, it's in reverse. Okay, so what else are they apologizing for? Look, look at these, gosh, these commitment issues. What are they around? Disappointment, Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It's in reverse. So let down in terms of commitment energy, their relationship. It's somebody who I feel was holding back emotionally. Obviously here, this Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups energy of could even be around marriage and, and it's not going to be for everybody but I have to bring this in just even with the deck we're in today look at this it's almost like somebody being left at the altar doesn't mean that somebody was but it's that connection to a relationship level that you were in and got stopped or were heading for so it could be marriage could be for the altar for some of you, but I don't think that's definitely, that's a very specific message. But it's just the, the energy of waiting uh, for something bigger, for what? Meeting up, 
going exclusive, combining families, getting engaged, whatever this energy is, it's clear that you've been waiting and it's clear that they want to communicate. And I, yeah, so the Hierophant is it's coming back in reverse. We saw the incoming energy, so that's really clear. And this is connected to the past and the current energy for me. Virgo, again, in Mercury energy, because you're separated still. This is somebody who is missing you, who's definitely missing you. And on both ends, I want to say the alignment of not wanting to, you're not wanting to be hurt again, like make a mistake. And they don't, they want to do things right here. Yeah, they're waking up. It's judgment, awakening, making a decision. Judgment is connected to the crown chakra, I know. Archangel Gabriel connected to the sacral chakra, I feel as well as the third eye chakra, I see the awareness, the self-awareness. So we saw that coming in with the hermit, somebody who is the separation, who's obviously, uh, I can see now, has been taking too long. It's probably why you have both feet perhaps out the door instead of just one. But Archangel Gabriel asking, you know, wake, wake up, make a decision, what do you want? This is this person coming back in here. It's just been really clear from the beginning, this person from the past. They do want to apologize. They have gotten clarity. They really want to communicate with you. I think they're coming in here around this commitment energy. Perhaps the apology is kind of the door opening, but it's a strong energy of forgiveness. And it's here also with the Five of Cups, which is asking for forgiveness. Can we move past this? This is really strong. Reconciliation or closure. Where is this person? I think it's reconciliation. Where are you? You both have a decision here. Look. Because you have one foot out the door. There's a fear of being hurt. But there's an intense connection as, as far as your commitment together, the Hierophant is here. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Wow. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy. Yeah, so they are spinning that Wheel of Fortune. We saw that coming in, the incoming energy of the Hermit in the upright, of getting out of there and spinning that Wheel of Fortune, taking a chance, sending you a message, communicating with you, just making contact. Making contact. It's been clear from the beginning of your reading, the magician coming in twice, and of course the King of Swords and a lot of other energies that have been here. So in this Six of Cups energy, as they are in their feelings, thinking about whether to see or talk to you again, they've got the wake-up call here, and they are making this decision to spin that Wheel of Fortune and communicate and look. We know you've been waiting for it here. Look, the Two of Wands, for them to make that decision. Seven of Pentacles, two feet probably out the door, and here it is. The Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. The Wish Fulfillment energy. So it's both around the communication. That Again, that's just been super, super clear. But it's also somebody in that Magician energy who's making wishes come true. So is it just around communicating or is there more? There's more on the table, I'll tell you what. Whether it's now or later, this is not just somebody coming in to apologize and, and disappearing again. So whatever conversations might, whatever needs to go down in these conversations for the future possibilities, that's between the two of you. You both have free will. But I tell you what, hearing from them, really incredibly clear. The wish fulfillment, the Nine of Cups, you've been waiting for it. And it's one cup shy, by the way, of the Ten of Cups. Where is the Tenth Cup? They're holding on to it here. Are they bringing that in? Getting us into the Ten of Cups energy. Had you built a life together, were you building it wasn't on the table? I think it might be on the table again, the possibilities. And that could be a lot of things. We could be looking again at blending families, introducing families, moving in together, sharing, uh, yeah, just connecting on another level because something odd, there's a lot of disappointment of that not happening. Something changed, put you 
And this stuck energy of not communicating, that's literally getting unstuck here with the Wheel of Fortune and the upright. We already saw it coming in in the upright, the Hermit. So it's a strong validation that we're getting out of that energy. And look where it's wanting to go. The Wish Fulfillment is connecting to the Hierophant, a card of commitments, long-term energy. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Cups, the Page of Cups, Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're coming back in here, Aries. This is somebody who does want to be with you, who loves you. There's, it's a, by the way, there's also, this apology is really sincere. Heart on their sleeve kind of energy. Heart on their sleeve energy here. So Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Cups, also Page of Cups. And this Five of Pentacles here in reverse, Mercury and Taurus energy. This is a card of loss. Somebody who's been worrying, it's your separation. They haven't really been doing very well. Missing you here, look, and connecting with what they need to apologize for, what they need to fix. And it's in reverse. It's a coming back in energy. If you had some kind of an apartment or house, that sort of situation together, it's literally a coming home energy. But it's also just coming in. It's a hopeful energy of them coming back in and there is a healing energy and you could say a recovering energy. So like coming back for what was lost. Here, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Cups. I mean, this is long-term energy here with the Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups is here. So the love between you, the feelings between you are, are still here. And look, we have our Six of Cups here. The soulmate energy is strong, really strong also in the magician energy. That's what they're doing, is making the wishes come true, what they've been thinking about here in the Six of Cups. You are their biggest wish. Being with you is something you can see that they want. So this is definitely more than communicating. And that magician coming in twice, super strong validation of them, not just manifesting it, but going after it, like making it happen as above, so below, getting focused and turning these visions here into reality, biggest wish energy, commitment with you. And if there is marriage around this connection that was already there between the two of you, or something happened to the possibilities, it's here again. I know that's not for everybody, but marriage proposal energy is here. Proposal energy is also new beginnings, propose, proposal energy, making a decision. The love between you is strong. Venus and Cancer energy, the two of cups. Look, and it's connecting here with our Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, a lot of the reunion energy that is here in the Six of Cups, what they're thinking is something that a decision they want to make and you can see they're making it. Two of Cups energy. The awakening, judgment, it's a 20 that deduces to a two, and it's literally make a decision, wake up, what do you want? Reconciliation is really strong. This is somebody who wants reconciliation, who is coming in here via communication first. Trying to figure that out here in our Page of Cups energy, but also, again, it, it's a really sincere energy. And look at the dress that because this is, this is connected to the apology, but it's also connected to how they're coming into an offer. <laughs> I put quotes because it may not be, obviously it's not gonna be for everybody that somebody's coming in with a ring. That is here, should that be the case for you. But it is somebody coming in here with communicating with you about your relationship on their mind. And obviously they're, they love you. You love them too. There's still love between you. You're still connected here. They're just trying to figure it out. And look what they're wearing, this dress here with the octopus tentacles. And the octopus lives at the bottom of the ocean, the deepest part of the ocean. So a lot of deep feelings. Look, if you look in here, like out in the surface, you don't see that. If you look in, I mean, there's just a whole other world in there of what this person has... <sighs> in their heart for you. Also, I want to say what may what maybe they've been hiding too, what they've been afraid of. Look, connecting here with the Hermit in reverse. So the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is really another strong connection here to what happened. 
Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Pentacles in reverse, and Ace of Cups in reverse. This is like my protege <laughs> to the Empress. And, you know, really healing energy, able to start, like new beginning energy. And it's in reverse, and it's also a strong validation that this person wasn't being honest emotionally, was I want to say it wasn't reciprocal in, in terms of opening up and communicating and sharing. Also the apology, and it's been really clear from the get-go that's something that they're doing here. Opening up, communicating, apologizing, coming your way. I want to bring in some Oracle. We're shuffled and ready to go, Aries, but I want to move it a little more. I'm not reading it in reverse. Let's see what else is coming in. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else Aries needs to see. Aho. Crafty. <laughs> so somebody trying to figure out. Actually, you know what? I think it's, whoa, I think it needs to go here. Union and kindreds. Three here. Wish. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Biggest wish energy. Making making wishes. Literally, I feel like on stars. But somebody who's making, getting into that magician energy that came down twice. So making it happen. Making wishes, wishes, wish fulfillment here. That's really strong. Look what else came here. We have union. We have kindreds. Yeah, this is pretty strong. Kindred spirits, the connection, the six of cups, the two of cups, the union energy. Getting out of no contact, no communication is so incredibly strong. And what is on this person's mind is reconciliation. Whether you can see each other now or not is something that won't be for everybody. But I tell you, the coming together to communicate and the connection that is very much on their mind is really incredibly strong. Community. Passage. Wow. Whoa, so this is a really, a really clear message. I want to show you this. So here we go, okay? So coming out of the storm, after the storm, look, you go here, there's a rainbow, the water's calm, you're in a boat together, connected with the stars, fate, and destiny, also a really healing energy, coming together, community. This is a coming together energy, and it's here with healer. This is strong. So coming together, healing, working things out. This person is coming to communicate for sure and apologize. That's super strong. It's been strong from the beginning. And why it's a lot, it's connected to just kind of how they left things, other issues, obviously with commitment and, and their emotions, whether it's involving other people or it's just them. It is somebody who obviously is taking accountability who is hoping you can move past this hello <laughs> the camera makes me crazy i don't think you missed anything what i was saying is for some of you it could be that this this has been it's been a long time you know but a storm only lasts for so long and we have the rainbow coming after passage so a new direction a new an opening you know a, a finding a way out of the storm and coming together in community and healing. And that's connecting, of course, with Queen of Cups energy, Cancer energy and healing. But this is also, look, it's forming an infinity sign. And while that's truth, it's particular kind of love, by the way, soulmate energy, twin flame energy, if you're on a twin flame journey. I know that's not for everybody. It could mean something a little bit different for you, in particular around communication. But infinity is connected to Libra, truth, balance, and renewal, healing and coming back together. It's so strong. It's goosebumpy strong. And the snake, look what it's doing. It's shedding its skin. 
That's what a snake needs to do in order to survive. It's connecting also with this devil energy. Look what happened here. So it's also getting out of ego energy and it's healing what has been happening here because that's just been so strong with the magician as well. You know, with uh, alchemizing everything that happened in the past, healing what's going on currently and yeah, you could say setting things up for the future, like working it out so there is a clean slate energy, so it's not being brought into that that energy. So there is a little bit of fear around the, the communication, but that's being overcome. It's a matter of timing here for me, I feel. Really a matter of timing, that Page of Swords energy. So it's somebody who has been watching, who's been... You know, if you're on social media, they're looking, Aries. If you're connected, whoa, via friends and family. I dream about our life together. It's all I want. <laughs> yeah, it's biggest wish energy. Look at this. Six of Cups, Two of Cups, Nine of Cups. Knight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. That's really clear. So what I was saying <laughs> before your card came flying out is if you're connected via friends and family, which I think some of you are, they're talking about you to them. <laughs> and if it's possible to see each other, it could be that there's even some planning, some, some kind of strategy around being at the same place at the same time. It may not be in person for everybody. That's just really, really clear. But they are, there are, there's guidance, like somebody who's communicating with people, getting some help. I am always rereading our messages. I wish I could come and take you away. <laughs> Look at the wish here. The Page of Cups here with the Nine of Cups. My love is for you, nobody else. Archangel Gabriel asking, what do you want? Wake up, make a decision, reconciliation, judgment. My love is for you, nobody else. No one can hold a candle to you, Aries. Our souls are forever connected. This should say our, by the way, not ours. I don't know why. I just haven't fixed that yet. Something's wanting to reveal. It's the Nine of Pentacles wanting to come in. Yeah. It's, who's holding the Tenth Pentacle? The, the Knight here is holding the Tenth Pentacle. The Knight of Pentacles, Virgo and Mercury. And the Nine of Pentacles, also Virgo and Mercury, is this commitment energy coming in here. Then we have the Hierophant in the upper right. This is somebody who isn't just apologizing. This is somebody who wants to be with you. And if it's possible to marry you, for you to marry each other, it's here. <laughs> I know it's not for everybody, but the coming together energy, the being together, together is just so strong. Two of Cups, Six of Cups, Union, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles is here now with our Knight. So again, putting us into the Ten of Pentacles. Mercury and Virgo energy, really long term. Were you in a long term connection? Were you building it wasn't on the table? It's definitely on the table here. I want to grow old with you. That's what <laughs> this is, just as I'm saying that. I want to grow old with you. Look, the roses, the incoming here. I love you every day. The Two of Cups. You give me butterflies. The Tarot Closet. Channeled love messages. Messages. Whoa. From their higher self. Is that it? I am so sorry I hurt you. The storm. The rainbow. Even the Six of Swords energy where the hand is kind of going like this. <laughs> sort of like, yeah. The communication. Just, there's still some hurt here. You are the love of my life, Aries. You are the love of my life. Give me time. It's connecting here with Six of Cups and Union. I have so many regrets. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. 
and the regrets here really strong in our Five of Cups. This is somebody who I feel like really left you feeling like they didn't love you, which is just not true. I don't know if they were just hiding it from the, hiding it from you or from themselves too, but they definitely know how they feel and what they want and what they need to do. I fear you have moved on. That's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It's the one foot, maybe two feet out the door. Energy, because there is some triggering energy here. Something they may have seen or heard. Or just that energy of just getting it together, waking up. <laughs> it's judgment here, you know, waking up and are they too late? Here we go. Super strong validation. This has been the energy. Look at this. The Magician twice. Literally manifesting you. Soulmate energy. Making wishes come true, their wishes. You are my biggest wish. The wish card in the Nine of Cups. That's just couldn't be any stronger for me. The Tarot Closet channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self. Okay, I want to look at that one because they made sure I picked it up. You inspire a love in me I never knew. You give me butterflies, is where it wanted to go. I reread our messages. Yeah. Look, <laughs> another validation. I am always rereading our messages. I reread our messages. So that's here in the Six of Cups energy. I made so many mistakes, and I have so many regrets. You are my person. You are my person, Aries. Kindred spirits, look, two of cups, six of cups. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. What is that around? It's coming here with the storm and then the rainbow after. I took you for granted. Yeah, the wake up energy here is really strong. It's the other thing I was hearing too, that this could also have been around some conversations that did happen that kind of got you here. The stormy weather, please forgive me. As I say that, I took you for granted. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Please forgive me. Came in. I'm going to look at those last. They're connected. There is so much left unsaid. Yeah. This is real. Union, give me time, Six of Cups, in the last two messages here. We were destined to meet. That's the Wheel of Fortune. Fate and destiny, which we felt was going to be here. And here it is. We met for a reason. Somebody, for sure, this person sees you as their soulmate. And yeah, knowing that destinies are intertwined here, and I do feel like, yeah, you've known this person for many, many years. It's a validation of that. Or again, it's just that feeling. That's how they're feeling. Like, you're my person type of energy. The last, <laughs> the last channeled love message, message from their higher self. And we do have our page of swords here. So it's kind of like upwriting it. Look, I spy on you because it's in reverse here, which was a little bit of fear around making the move, like watching. So they are definitely in and out watching before they're actually coming along. If you're on social media together or there's a way for them to get information via other people. Aries, that's your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. Please don't forget to like today's video and subscribe if you have not. I'm sending you love as always. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye Aries.